Uh, good evening and welcome to this new tutorial in dynamics uh, in the third lecture uh, related to describing the, uh, the curvilinear motion of a particle in XY plane system. And this question it was given uh, the path of the particle in the XY plane as a function of X and um, also it was given the, uh, the, 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 the X component of the velocity as a function of time and it is required here to find the distance from the origin point to the particle and also the magnitude of the acceleration when time equal one seconds. Uh, this question was given the initial conditions uh, for at, at a time equal zero, the x was zero and y equal zero. Uh, and any value associated with a time equal to zero are the initial values, uh, which are the x initial and the y initial. Um, now, from the perspective of the curvilinear motion in XY plane, uh, we need to know that, uh, we already knew that uh, R equals to X squared plus Y squared. This describes the motion, this describes the location between the origin point and the particle. This is the, this is the, 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 uh, the, 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 the vector that describes the distance between the origin point and the particle. Also, the x component is the derivative of the uh, the, the, the x component of the velocity is the derivative of the x component of the position with respect to time. So this is the x component of the location of the particle. Now for the the, the, the y component of the velocity, it which is v y is equals to d y over d t, which is the derivative of the uh, of the location of the of the y component of the location of the particle which is this uh, distance this is the y and this is the x um, also uh, and from this from this we can get the component uh, the, the magnitude of the velocity which is uh, vx squared plus vy squared uh, re regarding the acceleration as well the x component of the acceleration is the derivative of the velocity with respect to time and the for the for the acceleration in the y component of, uh, of the motion is described as the derivative of the of the velocity of the y component of the velocity with respect to time and from that we can get the combo the, the magnitude of the acceleration as ax squared plus ay squared uh, so regarding this question to find the the the, uh, the 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 distance between the, the origin point and the, the 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 particle we need to find the x distance and the y distance uh, from the from the given information in this question so for the x component for the x component if we start with it now um, we we see we have here uh, y uh, we, we have here vx i'm sorry equals to 5t and this equals to dx over dt and with a little bit of rearrangement we multiply this with that and we say dx equal to 5t dt and in this fashion we have the ability to integ integrate both sides from x naught to x and from the time naught to t and it was we it was predetermined in this question that x naught here was equal to 0 and t naught is equals to 0 Integrating both sides, we yield this values um, 5 over 2 t squared from 0 to t, and uh, this will yield uh, 2.5 to t squared. So here we succeeded in finding a relationship between the x position of the particle at any time. So uh, at time equal one second, we just substitute and we come up with the x component 2.51 squared and x equal here to 2.5 meters so this is the x component of the position or the distance of the particle at time equal one second now to find the, uh, the, the, the location of the particle in the y direction we simply uh, use this relationship and we just substitute and we say 0 0.5 to uh, 0.5 x squared. We just substitute the value here 
and we come up with the uh, y component of the location three, which equals to 3.125 meters so now we have uh, both components at hand uh, the x component and the y component so what we can do here is this uh, we just uh, calculate for the location or the position as a magnitude as a direct uh, uh, value of the location from the origin point to the particle and we say uh, you, we use this relationship and when substitute, substitute 2.45 squared plus 3.125 squared and we come up with this uh, value which is 4 meters so the distance between between uh, the origin point and the particle is 4 meters this is the distance that we have now moving to the acceleration of the particle uh, we use the same uh, we, we use the relationships that we outlined here and um, uh, simply we can go and say that for the acceleration it equals to dvx over dt and this equals to d dt of 5t which was, which was given and deriving this would be yield 5 so this is the x component of the of the of the acceleration for the uh, the y component of the acceleration ay equals to dvy over dt and uh, we don't have here the vy so we need to calculate for it for first we need to derive it from the previous relationship that i showed you uh, so the um, the, the, the vy here is equals to dy over dt and this equals to um, because we don't have a direct relationship between the y and x we just need to use the, uh, the chain rule we need to use the chain rule uh, for the chain rule here uh, we say uh, dy over dx times dx over dt and we uh, we calculate each one alone by itself so for the dy over dx this equals to dx of um, of y and this equals to d dx we substitute the value that was given in the question and this equals to x for the um, dx over dt it equals simply to vx and which was already calculated and derived uh, or given I'm sorry uh, it, it equals to 5t so from this we can um, come up in the end with the original uh, equation again and we say vy equals to x times 5t and x already was uh, derived to be two, to, to equals to 2.5t squared so we take it we take it and substitute it here 2.5t squared times 5t and uh, this equals to 12 0.5 t cubed this is the y component of the acceleration so we need to derive this with respect to time to get the the accelerator to, to get the y component of the acceleration so we say a y equals to d t of 12.5 t cubed and this will give us 37.5 T squared uh, substituting because it was a kind of question to to calculate for the values at time equal one second we just substitute at y at a time equal one second and uh, this would give us 37.5 one squared and this would give us 37.5 uh, meters per second squared 
So now we have uh, both. We have the x component of the acceleration, we have the y component of the acceleration, and we can simply calculate for the magnitude of the acceleration, uh, which equals to uh, ax squared plus ay squared, and this equals to um, 5 squared plus 37.5 squared, and this will equal to 37.8 meters per second squared. Uh, thank you for watching.